yeah, I removed the plasterboard from the walls. There used to uh, was like one room. Well, let's say historically, at the very beginning there were three rooms. Then somebody did some renovation. There was one big room. Then again three rooms, like I'm standing uh, in the bathroom. The toilet was here. And there was this small room, uh, which actually, uh, yeah, there was a washing machine and so on. Uh, but now it's going to be uh, one big room, actually kitchen. So I will remove these studs, but before I do, I of course add some strength, just in case. They are not uh, load-bearing walls, but I want to be sure. Yeah, there are different layers of material. And I'm going to remove all these plasterboards. So when these plasterboards were installed, uh, probably they used like scraps or I don't know. It's put together from different uh, pieces of plasterboard. Here is one, then there's second small one, then it's coming down from here. You can see all these cracks. And of course I will say it again, if you start uh, doing some demolition work, uh, be sure to uh, cut uh, electricity from the wires like yeah you don't want to end up touching these live wires so I know that there is no electricity in this in this bathroom toilet area and also in the hallway it's all without power So I removed most of the drywall from the walls and this is nice here. So probably uh, uh, the one who made renovation they used uh, like old pieces of wood from some, I don't know from where, but they're all different. And no wonder I had so many cracks in the plasterboard because, yeah, the plasterboard itself was like leveled, or I don't know how to say in English leveled or made plumb by using these pieces of wood and not enough apparently you should have like at least one here one here as well and on top and in the bottom it's it's not plumb and yeah these boards on top were actually not attached anywhere, so actually the drywall itself was holding them. So yeah, I need to add some reinforcements and install this insulation uh, better, definitely. And in uh, this wall, 
this one start here and the other one here and then third one over there so there should be at least one start here and maybe even two starts in the middle but they just well maybe they ran out of material i don't know so this is you can easily push it in so yeah i need to add at least two starts here so one thing you don't want to find is a hidden wire somewhere uh, which is not covered up so you can see at some point in the past uh, it has been live uh, with uh, open open wires and you can see this this uh, like a black mark here but luckily it didn't catch fire so but yeah this is dangerous stuff man So I, I have now removed stuff from there, opened this place up, removed all the plaster so I can add beam, like supporting beam here so I can remove these studs and these boards as well. But next I will continue with demolition. So, this opening here will be closed and the new opening will be on this wall. So you can, you can walk through here and then you can go from here to the living room. So I need to remove these wires they are connected to the switches here and then I can safely cut the new opening <laughs> 